Hi there, thank you very much for joining us once again. We are looking at why the black stars of Ghana, Ghana black stars, will still need um, Hudson Odoi, Edin Ketia, Salis Ahmed of Lens, and then Jeffrey Schlopp of Crystal Palace. So why the black stars will need these four players going into the 2022 World Cup over there? Yes, we are going to look at that. But please, if this is your first time watching us, do well to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, select all do all to like this video and leave your comment and thoughts below if you have any let me hear your thoughts views about what we are going to talk about here in this particular video now the ghana black stars is in group h okay is in the world cup group of portugal and south korea uruguay so do, those are the other three teams who are part of the black stars in that particular group now the black stars play them um, brazil friendly nicaragua friendly and we did not see a lot of things especially with the striking department we only saw that our major uh, our major dependent striker is inaki williams and that is the reason why we will need eddie inketia as a substitute over there for 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 for, for inaki williams without inaki williams we didn't see any particular fantastic number nine who will be getting us the goals yes um, Antoine Semenyor is still in the picture but he has not been getting enough playing time from Utuado and his his charges so we need Edin Ketia if Edin Ketia comes he brings a lot of goals because he has scored a lot of goals with the English under 21 and then even for Arsenal even though he doesn't get a lot of playing time at Arsenal Edin Ketia still manages to score a lot of goals for Arsenal so we need somebody like Edin Ketia to complement our attacking force going into the World Cup. The Black Stars team has shown that we don't score a lot of goals. Okay, so we need someone who will add goals. Yes, Inaki Williams is in, he is adding goals, but another player in the shape of Edin Ketia would add a lot more goals to the senior national team, the Black Stars, going into the 2022 World Cup. That is the reason why we think we need Edin Ketia. And so the Ghana Football Association and their charges should do all they can to ensure that the Dean Ketia switches nationality successfully to the senior national team, the Black Stars, before um, November 2022 over there. Now, um, Hudson Odoi is also one player that is very much needed by the senior national team, the Black Stars. Look, all the attackers, all the wingers, we trusted them, they didn't, uh, haven't lived up to expectation. The likes of Kamal Dean, Suleimana, Osman, Bukhari, all of them have just been by names they've not lived to expectation when playing for the black stars and that is the truth the friendly games against brazil and nicaragua was very evident that um, even though fatal with a winger he scored but look our wingers were just in the not not at the party so we need somebody like hudson odoi who brings a lot of experience who brings a lot of um a lot of experience goals and everything to the senior national team the blaster he will add a lot to the senior national team the black stars and we will need somebody like Kalum Hudson Odoi as part of the black stars to augment the wingers of the black stars to augment you see um coach Otoado uh, played four back against Brazil he started with four back against Nicaragua he also started with four back so it means that in order to create room for the wingers he wants to play with a four back and if you are creating room for wingers then indeed Kalum Hudson Odoi is an ideal winger the black stars will need for the 2022 world cup going on so those two players should be added to the squad um yes they've not yet switched nationality but i am um, the ghana football association can do all they can all it, it takes to have them switch nationality they can do that and ensure that those two players switches nationality to the senior national team the black stars and ghana over there now one other player very important player is salis ahmed of lens a very combative strong defensive midfielder formerly of clement ford he has done very well in the french league he has done very well in his position as the defensive midfielder of lens look lens in the french league uh, this particular season are doing very well and he is their main man He's their main man. He's a defensive midfielder who can augment the defensive position. A lot of Ghanaians are saying that, look, Baba Idrisu is not up to the start. Baba Idrisu is not cut for it. We need another defensive midfielder. 
that is um, um, um Salis Ahmed over there. Even if you are going to play Baba Idrisu, Thomas Partey has also shown that he's not a trusted man when it comes to the blasters and playing for the blaster. He gets injured and all of that. And so, in the absence of Thomas Partey, we can still get Salis Ahmed of Lens. Fantastic fantastic defensive midfielder ball recoveries interception and um, passes up, up front and everything he's 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 splendid he's a full-time Ghanaian who is ready to be called up for the blasters and so coach Otuado can look over there and he can augment our squad very much now the last person is Jeffrey Schlopp Jeffrey Schlopp is also a one versatile player of the blasters he can play as a wing back he can play as a left back he can play as a midfielder so if you get Jeffrey Schlop, you are getting somebody who is very versatile and um, can do the work for you, irrespective of where you place this in. Our left back, our left position, okay, left back position is where uh, uh, um, one of our weakest link because yes, Baba Raman will not be playing, Gideon Mensah will be playing, but he's still not. He's still not shown as the top, top, top level performer. And so getting somebody like Jeffrey Schlopp will augment that position. And he can also be an addition for our midfielders going into the 2022 World Cup. So these players are really, really needed for the Black Stars going into the 2022 World Cup. And that is what all Ghanaians should be preaching for and should be looking at. For me, I think that the, these four players adding to our squad will bring a lot of squad depth, will add a lot of quality who add goals, who add experience to the Black Star setup going into the 2022 World Cup. So that is why we brought you this video. Thank you very much for staying with us. Do all to subscribe to the channel if this is your first time watching us. Hit the notification bell, like this video and do all to leave a comment below. Let me hear your thoughts, views on this particular video.